In this video, I will show you how to add highlights. Adding highlights will consist of two steps. First, I will add shadows to the player and then I will add light on top of the shadows. This way will create a more engaging highlights. I will use this image as a reference to help me. Here I can see which parts are in shadow and light and I will add my shadow and light accordingly. You can also use this side, especially if you want to improve your light placement skills. I highly recommend it. Now let's start by adding the shadow. I usually use curves because it allows you to both brighten or darken the image and adjust the color. I'm roughly painting the shadow using a normal brush. You don't need to be very detailed at this point. Just shaping the shadow will be enough and we will add details later. After roughing in the shadow, I adjust its colors. I'm using a slightly purple hue. It's important to pick the right shadow color or else it will look like a stain. Once the shadow color is set, let's add more details. I soften my brush and paint some areas more gently according to the face shape. At this point, you can use the blur tool. It's very useful in my opinion. This way, I soften the hard edges a bit more. I might erase some areas, but as I said, it's important for the brush to be soft. You can lower the flow for more controlled painting. I apply this technique to the rest of the body as well. To darken some parts of the shadow, I duplicate the curves layer and using the blending settings, I remove the lighter parts. You can separate the layers by holding alt. I erase these areas that I don't want to be too dark. Now it's time to add light. I will use curves again. I want the light to be blue so I lower the reds. Of course we need brightness for it look like light so I'm increasing the brightness here, especially in the darker areas. Pulling the red slider all the way down will look better. I also push the blue slider up and as you can see, the image has become more blue. I'm also increasing the brightness in the dark areas. At this point, you can adjust the colors and brightness as you like. This looks good to me. I'm opening my mask now. The key here is to paint over the shadow areas. I set the flow to 5 and start painting. I'm only painting inside the shadow, not outside of it. I will paint over the face this way. I will paint the other parts of the body the same way, but as I said, only on the shadowed parts. Once the painting is done, I'm open the color balance and adjust it to a purple blue mix. The reason I do this is that, for example, this area is in shadow but its highlights appear yellow. That shouldn't be the case because if there is blue light, the shadow usually shifts towards purple. So I make the shadow a mix of blue and purple. As you can see, it looks much better now. Finally, I add an exposure layer to make certain areas brighter. From the blending settings, I remove the darker areas. This looks good to me. I'm only painting the areas where we added light. You can press Ctrl Alt to select the painted areas. I will paint these parts and that's it. We can also add background. I create a solid blue color and paint the background. 
Again, I use a soft brush and painting gently, not too much. And that's the background done. By the way, you can also do this. Create a hue saturation layer. I copy the mask we use for the light by holding alt and dragging it up. Then I hit colorize and now we can change the color from here. Let's increase the brightness and saturation and adjust the color. As you can see, you can quickly set the color to what you want. Consider this a little tip. Alright, our highlight is complete. As you can see, this is how I add highlights. It wasn't a very detailed work, but I demonstrated the basics of how I add highlights. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment on what videos you like me to make. And I will see you in the next video. By the way, you can access the PST file of this work on my Patreon, along with other PST files.